Hi and welcome to this video. If you want to see which Kubernetes resources are namespaced and which ones are not, let's see how you can do it. Sometimes you're not sure. Let's just see how you can figure out if a resource is namespaced or not. So to see a list of all the possible resources, you can just do kubectl API resources. And this is going to show you the list of all the resources. So you can see here we have a list of possible resources. Maybe you want to do kubectl get and you don't know how something is called. You can figure out how it's called. Maybe you want to see kubectl events. And as well, if I can scroll up, you'll find the name of the resource. You'll find, you'll see the name of the resource. You'll see the short name for the resource. So instead of doing kubectl get limit ranges, you can do kubectl get limits. So this is a very helpful thing to know. And then you can also see the API version that is used. So when you're defining the element in a YAML file, you can just find the API version there. The video is about namespaced and you can see it tells you whether an element is namespaced or not. If you want to find out the list of items that are namespaced, you can just grab the result of this with true. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to control L, clear the screen and then I can grab this with true. So it's just going to show me the items that have true. And now you'll see that the items that are namespaced are this. Some of the ones that are common and you're probably familiar with are limit ranges, pods, deployments, and so on. And at the same time, if you want to figure out which ones are not namespaced, because sometimes you may be confused and you're not sure which ones are namespaced and which ones are not, you can also just do grep with false. So clear the screen again, control L. And you're going to see the list of Kubernetes resources that are not namespaced. So when you create them, they will be available to the entire cluster. So some of the examples that you're probably familiar with and you've definitely encountered or will encounter are persistent volumes, namespaces. Of course, namespaces are not namespaced. One that I've seen people confuse and think is namespaced is actually storage classes. So if you look down here, you're going to see storage classes. Storage classes are not namespaced. All right, so I hope this video will help you figure out if something is namespaced or not namespaced. And as well, it can also help you figure out the short name for something. So instead of doing kubectl config maps, you can do kubectl get cm. All right, that's it for this video. Until next time.